And now it's time for another edition of St. Louis 7. We're following a recent episode that we just taped tonight with Jim Thomas from the Post-Dispatch, the St. Louis Blues beat writer. And it'll air wherever you get your podcast. Just look for OT with Oliver. Jim, went a little long, man, but we had a lot to talk about. And I had a good time. I appreciate your time. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. We, we, had, we, we had a little bit of ground to cover. <laughs> All right, so we're going to run into this St. Louis 7. Jim, where'd you go to high school and what do you remember? Southwest High School, which doesn't exist now. It's, it's, it's still there, and, uh, but it has a different name now. And uh, I remember that Howard Richards went there. I remember that Dick Gebhardt went there. I was a catcher on the baseball team, and two, maybe three years removed from me was Joe Nolan, who uh, would hit shots down the right field line that went on roofs across the street at Sublet Park or Home Park. He ended up playing for the Baltimore Orioles and catching and had a great career. I was no Joe Nolan. Let me just put it that way. It was great, though. Southwest was a great melting pot. We had, we had blacks. We had Jews. We had Italians from the hill. We had uh, what they used to call greasers back then. If you've ever seen the movie Grease, you know what I'm talking about. And, and just like Southside Hoosiers, like myself, and we all got along great. We're talking late 60s, early 70s. It was just fantastic to, to attend Southwest High School. When you go to Ted Drew's, what do you order? I just get the basic uh, concrete. Uh, sorry, just a little vanilla concrete. Okay. I haven't, haven't been there in a while, but but uh, I enjoy uh, Ted Drew's. Uh, went to the one on Grand a, a lot more earlier because I, 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 I lived a little closer to uh, to that one. And uh, the, the, the one on, uh, what would it be? Is that Hampton? Is that Hampton or no, Watson? Watson. And bought many a Christmas tree there, you know, because it's a Christmas tree lot. Over the years, yeah. Do you have a favorite concert? I want to say, and I went to a lot of concerts. I mean, uh, growing up, uh, Prince, uh, Springsteen, Zeppelin. Uh, I remember going to, to the Joliet Jam in uh, Joliet, Illinois, and Bachman Turner Overdrive, and the Beach Boys were there. And some like Hell's Angels started uh, like trying to rush the stage and the, uh, the the rest of the crowd kind of fought back and there were many more of them and they were like uh, shelling them with the bottles of Boone's Farm, uh, you know, that old cheap wine and, and they beat back the uh, uh, the biker gang. Did that was a good go, concert. Do you ever go one, to one quick one though, my high school girlfriend was big into John Denver. So I went to two John Denver. So I don't mind when they sing Almost Home West Virginia, Country Roads, at the, uh, strangely at Enterprise Center. It drives Ben Fredrickson nuts, but did you ever get to a uh, Super Jam concert? No. Was that, was that the name of a band? I should know. That was when like nine of them would come in and you'd spend the whole day at Bush Stadium for like 10 bucks. Oh, no, no, not at Bush. But I, you know, like I, I went to one down in the Ozarks that had a bunch of people. And uh, like I said, the Joliet Jam had a bunch of bands. I, don't, I never went to a Super Jam, no. Give me a good Kurt Warner story. Uh, I really enjoy the, uh, and, and I'm sure Kurt didn't, but, and, and I could give you many, but... Uh, when uh, uh, Brenda Warner called, uh, cold called Brian Burwell on uh, the radio to basically call Mike Martz a lawyer, a liar. That's when uh, he had the second uh, kind of hand injury in 2001. And uh, I think Mark said, so Mike Mart said something like he, uh, he didn't want to go see a doctor or whatever. And Brenda just called him up. Hey, I'm, I'm a nurse or I used to be a nurse. And, that, that is what happened. And she never referred to him as Coach Martz or Mike. She just said Martz. She just referred to him as Martz. And uh, that led to some interesting, uh, interesting columns. And uh, uh, again, it didn't maybe start with anything I was involved with, but just, just to hear her cold call the radio. I mean, Brian Burwell was not expecting it. That was, there were some, uh, there were some uh, Brenda Warner, Mike Martz uh, issues in that, uh, that last year. You're driving around. You're driving around, you encounter 10 stop signs. How many do you roll? Probably all of them, unless <laughs> I see a cop. I mean, come on, you can't be from St. Louis, right? And not roll through a stop. Maybe on my driver's test, I came to a complete stop. Right? Yeah. Isn't that a St. Louis thing? Um, I'm pleading the fifth, man. But yeah, I think... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's good, uh, I think you just pled guilty right there. I think I need to change my license plate is what I need to do now. <laughs> there you go. When folks come and visit you, where do you take them? 
Where do I take them? Uh, well, there, there are a few places in the, in Oakville, a few places that Pat Maroon might know, you know, uh, 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 Frankie G's, there's a Rich and Charlie's, uh, what else? I'm at Oakville Sports Pub, so just all, all the great spots of Oakville. There you go. No wrong answers to that one, by the way. And also, lastly, no wrong answers to this one. I want to thank Jim Thomas. Guys, hockey's starting back up. Make sure you stay on top. Jim does a fantastic job. We're owners of the cup until somebody takes it from us, so I'm, I'm looking forward to hockey. Jim, what makes you proud to be a St. Louisan? Proud to be a St. Louisan? I guess uh, I think, the, uh, not that I'm an expert, the architecture is great. There's more things to do in St. Louis than you think. St. Louis is, is a big city, but it kind of has a more of a community uh, uh, feel. A lot of, lot of history, too. More, more history that we, we should do more with the, uh, the history. So, And uh, I just, from what I do, the sporting event, just to see how the community, just the whole town rallies behind its, uh, its teams. I mean, just at that parade, the, uh, uh, the hockey parade, it was, just, it was just amazing. Just there were like a million people out there. So all of that about St. Louis. I, I, I love the city and the, the, the thing that a lot of people nationally don't realize is how low the cost of living is here. You know, it's just unbelievable. You can, you can make a nice, uh, uh, nice setup, nice living, uh, and, and, uh, uh, have a good home and everything. And it, it's not going to cost you an arm or leg. Just a lot of great things about, about St. Louis. I love it dearly. Jim, really appreciate the time. Appreciate you, man. All right. You take care. My pleasure, David.